Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me. Well, it's a hot day in America. <laughs> and I hope you're having good weather where you are. Hope people are enjoying gardening. I got some tomatoes out of the deal. Some of my other stuff didn't do so well, but it's pretty hot. Chapter 35 of Exodus, we are there. This is uh, continuing with the Lord putting it in people's minds, stirring up their hearts to offer to do the work of the Lord. And I believe the Lord's doing the same with us today. He's stirring hearts to get on board, to get passionate about working for Him and doing for Him and loving one another as we love him so uh, are we stirred we need to be stirred if we aren't sometimes you've got to stir yourself up you've got to talk to yourself you've got to tell yourself it's time to worship it's time to read the word it's time to do something more for the lord than i've been doing lord what is it what do you require of me he wants us to be merciful and obedient and to do justice. And we want to be careful to do these things. Let's read chapter 35 of Exodus. And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord hath commanded that ye should do them. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord, whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. So this is Old Testament commandments to the Jewish people under the Old Covenant. Verse 3, ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day, and Moses spake unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, Take ye from among you an offering unto the Lord, whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it, an offering of the Lord, gold and silver and brass, and blue and purple and scarlet, and fine linen and goat's hair, and ram skins dyed red, and badger skins, and shittim wood, and oil for the light, and spices for anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, and onyx stones, and stones to be set for the ephod and for the breastplate. And every wise-hearted among you shall come, and make all that the Lord hath commanded, the tabernacle, his tent, and his covering, his tashes, and his boards, his bars, his pillars, and his sockets, the ark, and the staves thereof, with the mercy seat, and the veil of the covering the table and his staves and all his vessels and the showbread, the candlestick also for the light and his furniture and his lamps with the oil for the light and the incense altar and his staves and the anointing oil and the sweet incense and the hanging for the door at the entering in of the tabernacle, the altar a burnt offering with his brazen grate, his staves, and all his vessels, the laver, and his foot, the hangings of the court, his pillars, and their sockets, and the hanging for the door of the court. So everything we've already read that was to be made and created is being reiterated again here, what the people are now called to help do. Verse 18, the pins of the tabernacle and the pins of the court and their cords the cloths of service to do service in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office. And all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. And they came, everyone whose heart stirred him up and everyone whom his spirit made willing. And they brought the Lord's offering to the work of the tabernacle of the congregation and for all his service, and for the holy garments. And they came, both men and women, as many as were willing-hearted, and brought bracelets and earrings and rings and tablets, all jewels of gold. And every man that offered, offered an offering of gold unto the Lord, and every man with whom was found blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair 
and red skins of rams and badger skins brought them. Everyone that did offer an offering of silver and brass brought the Lord's offering, and every man with whom was found shittim wood for any work of the service brought it. And all the women that were wise-hearted did spin with their hands and brought that which they had spun, both of blue and of purple and of scarlet and of fine linen. And all the women whose hearts stirred them up in wisdom spun goat's hair. And the rulers brought onyx stones and stones to be set for the ephod and for the breastplate and spice and oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense. The children of Israel brought a willing offering unto the Lord. Every man and woman whose heart made them willing to bring for all manner of work which the Lord had commanded to be made by the hand of Moses. And Moses said unto the children of Israel, See, the Lord hath called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur of the tribe of Judah. And he hath filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, and to devise curious works, to work in gold and in silver and in brass, and in the cutting of stones to set them, and in carving of wood to make any manner of cunning work. And he hath put in his heart that he may teach both he and Aholiab, the son of Ahissamach of the tribe of Dan. Them hath he filled with wisdom of heart to work all manner of work of the engraver and of the cunning workman and of the embroiderer in blue and in purple and scarlet and in fine linen and of the weaver, even of them that do any work, and of those that devise cunning work. So praise God. A word again about having a willing heart to bring offerings for the Lord's work, and uh, knowing that we can receive wisdom and knowledge from the Lord. He can enhance these things as spiritual gifts to us, and uh, we need to ask the Lord to do that. We need to ask the Lord for a spirit of wisdom. And at this time, knowing that we are in evil days, in time, biblical things happening, many, uh, much deceit going out in the world, we need to be praying for discernment. We all have been given discernment, but we need that enhanced. We need a spirit of discernment from the Lord that uh, we are not deceived, that we are not distracted, that we recognize, and um, the Holy Spirit can help you recognize quickly when um, things are going forth falsely to distract us, and uh, we need to keep our focus on the Lord. When our focus is on the Lord, we aren't listening to things that can... Um, bind us up with our time we don't want to be distracted the lord's called us to stand for him and that is our focus praise god well i love you jesus loves you more have a beautiful day in the lord acts 238 if you need to give your heart to the lord we don't want to delay in coming to the lord and serving him if he's speaking to your heart don't put it off at all Stop everything, get on your knees before the Lord, ask Jesus in your heart, ask for forgiveness for sins, and uh, make sure you get baptized in Jesus' name. That's what Peter told the church to do, and uh, you can be filled with the Holy Ghost. This is how you inherit eternal life. You believe on Jesus, that he came as the Son of God, that he died for our sins on the cross, his blood shed to redeem us, and that when we believe in that work and we believe in his resurrection, we can be saved and inherit heaven. Praise God. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Be blessed.